Hello Year 11. This video works with exercise 14H. It's called Solution of Trigonometric Equations. I'm going to jump straight into it. So imagine we were asked to find all solutions to the equation cos theta equals a half for theta between 0 and 4 pi. That's what this actually means. Okay, there's a worked example in your book similar where it's talking about sine theta equals a half, but I'll do it for cos theta. So the first, one, first thing we have to do here is we have to work out oh, exactly when does cos theta equal a half. Now, when you see that fraction a half and you, you, you get a question like this, you should actually immediately go back to this table here, okay, which is from a couple of videos ago. Uh, here's cos theta, here's a half, okay, because it, because it relates directly back to this standard triangle here, okay. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over 2, so it is pi on 3, or 60 degrees. Okay, so cos theta equals a half when theta equals pi on 3. So what I've got here is I've got a unit circle, okay, and this is pi on 3. This is a half right here. So that's the angle in the first quadrant where cos theta equals a half. All right, but if we jump back to our question, find all solutions to the equation cos theta equals a half for theta between 0 and 4 pi. Okay, 0 and 4 pi, not just 0 and pi. So first, I'm going to write here first quadrant solution. Okay, theta equals pi on uh, pi on three. I nearly said pi on six. Theta equals pi on three. Okay, and I'm going to put in brackets there, 60 degrees. Okay, but we need more than one solution here. We need more than one solution. Um, when else is theta? Uh, when else is cos theta equal to a half? If we jump back to that unit circle here, let's just do this. Yep, that's in focus. Okay, we go back through our idea that in this quadrant, all are positive. In this quadrant, sine is positive. In this quadrant, tan is positive. In this quadrant, cosine is positive. All stations to city. Okay, so there should be a, a an equivalent angle in the fourth quadrant where sine theta equals a half. And it's the mirror one down here. So if I go to there and I just quickly draw this in, it's this angle down here, roughly. All right. Now, so what's this angle here? Well, if this point is 0 and it's also 2 pi, then this angle represents 2 pi minus theta. So it's 2 pi minus pi on, uh, I keep saying 6, 2 pi minus pi on 3. So let's get that right. 2 pi minus pi on 3. So 2 pi is 6 thirds, okay, um, minus 1 third, it's 5 pi on 3, equals 5 pi on 3, okay. So we've got pi on 3, And we've got 5 pi on 3. Okay, but then we've actually got two more solutions because we went from 0 to 4 pi. Okay, we've just done the solutions for uh, 0 to 2 pi. We know there's two solutions in this wing one revolution of the circle. Okay, so in a second revolution of the circle, then we're going to have one solution here and we're going to have one solution here. So our next solution is 2 pi plus pi on 3. And our other solution is 4 pi minus pi on 3. Okay, so our four solutions are pi on 3, 5 pi on 3, 2 pi plus pi on 3 is 7 pi on 3, and 4 pi minus pi on 3, 4 3 is a 12, so it's 11 pi on 3. 11 pi on 3. 
Okay, so they are our four solutions between 0 and 4 pi. How do we know there are four solutions? Another way of knowing that there are four solutions, okay, is if we go to our cosine graph here, and we want cos theta equals a half, okay, cos theta equals a half, I'm going to go to, oh, let's move that up, can you see that, yep, this is our cos theta graph, I'm going to go approximately there, it is approximately a half, alright, and I'm going to draw that line there, we've got one solution there, one solution there, this only goes out to 3 pi, there's one solution there, and then if we keep this one going like this, there's one solution there. Okay, so there are four solutions between 0 and 4 pi for cos theta equals a half. Sorry, there was a break in the video there. Um, so I've just gone through this one. I'm going to go through here. Uh, find it. So we're finding solutions of trig equations. Find two values of x when cos x equals negative 0.3 with x being between 0 and 2 pi. So, okay, so that's in one circle. So what you're advised to do here is to use your calculator to get the first answer. Okay, this is the sort of problem where you do need your calculator to do this. So what you do is you actually ask your calculator, and you make sure your calculator is in radian mode, and you say, well, okay, what is cos to the power of negative 1 of 0 0.3? Okay, and that will give you a value. And cos to the power of negative 1 of 0 0.3 equals 1.8, uh, 1.8. 875 <clears throat> Now I've let the calculator leave that rounded at five decimal places. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry about that. The calculator's got it at five decimal places and you don't want to round that, okay? Don't round when you're dealing with radian values. Five decimal places is, is fine. It's perfectly fine in this case. Okay, so you've got that value. What is that? What does that look like? All right. Because that's one of your values that you need. But there's actually going to be two. How do I know there's going to be two? Because I've drawn it. All right. I don't think you can see this, this writing. I should have written that bigger. In fact, I can write that bigger. What I've done is this is just a blank unit circle. And I've just drawn it as a stencil. I've got that length there, that, but that if that length represents 1, that length from there to there represents negative, or well, that's negative 1 there, right? That represents negative 0.3, and I've drawn that angle. Okay, so the answer the calculator gives you is this first angle. It's 1.87549 radian. Okay? Bearing in mind that this is pi radian, which is approximately 3.14, 3.14159, 1, etc. Okay, um, so so there's your first answer. Now, the same value, the cosine of this angle also equals negative 0.3, and this is the angle that goes all the way around, all the way around there. Okay, all the way around there. So a good way to think of this angle is that this is actually, well that angle is negative 1.87549. Okay, so two ways of doing this. Alright, you could work out the number of radians that's in there and subtract it from 3 pi on 2. Okay. And that's one way of doing it. Alright. Or you can say, let's do it that way. Let's actually do it that way. Okay. So 
This is pylon 2. This all the way around is 1.87549. So what you want to do there is you want to go to your calculator and you want to ask, actually say and make sure it's in radian mode and keep it exact. So I've got that in front of me. I'll put that up on screen a bit closer in a minute. What we do is we go to our book, no, shift book, control book, and we say, okay, pi on two. And I might actually just put that in a bracket just in case. So pi on two, take away. No, it's the other way around. Sorry, it's this answer 1.87549 subtract pi on 2. Alright, sorry about that pause. That answer 1.87549 take away pi on 2. So take away pi over 2. And just to be safe, I'm going to put that in a bracket. <coughs> okay. So, this in here, the value of this one here is 0 0.304693. Okay, 0, 0 0.304693 radians is right there. Alright. So what I've done, let's actually write it in here. I, what I've said is I've said I want pi over 2 take away 1.87549 equals 0.304. 693. Oops, you can't see that at the moment. That's there. Okay, and that represents this distance in here. So this angle here, this wider angle, bigger angle, is 3 pi on 2 take away that value. Because that value, that angle and that angle are equivalent. So 3 pi on 2 take away. 0 0.304693 equals. I'm going to work that out. Okay, so I should select that value in my case. Actually, I won't. I'll leave it there. What I'll do is I'll put in 3 pi on 2 first. So I go 3 times pi. Over two okay, three times pi over two take away this previous value. Okay, so I'll just put that in the CAS and I'm gonna hit enter on that and I get four point four zero seven seven. Okay, so just to prove I've done it, it's there on screen. Okay, I've got the first angle is 1.87549, the second angle is 4.4077, and both of those measures are in radian. So if I go back up to here, Just going to write that there. The second answer is four point four zero seven seven. Okay, because of the 
working out that I've done there. You can uh, you can rewind. All right, that's um, sort of matches with work example 18 in your text. Okay, have a look at that one. So uh, there's one more there, I think, that I want to do. I'll just pause the video for a second though, I'll come back to it.